Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 13 of our Let's Learn series for Victoria 3 where we are playing a one state minor power of Serbia a country in Eastern Europe wedged between what's, what's now Austria-Hungary and the Ottoman Empire and we've made it to January 1868 so that's uh, was that 32 years into the game and we are on a collision course with the Ottoman Empire I'm gonna go ahead and unpause at a slow speed as we just continue we continue um building up our uh, military with the aim of then converting them to skirmish infantry what once that is actually actually we have invented it already so it's been it's been a little while yeah so we just we want to get triage to make sure we uh we get first aid mobilization options which will improve the recovery rate which is the rate at which uh, casualties, um, uh, the, the rate of um, survival of casualties taken during wars, right? So we won't lose as many people. But otherwise, yeah, we are building up. We also need to pass per capita taxation in order to be able to finance this war. But there we are. We How many barracks do we have? We have six more barracks on uh, to be trained. We will switch to advanced tactics training that that Im which improves the training rate to 294 men i think per week i guess manpower can be trained per week yeah uh, and also you know the, the way it does that is by uh, increasing the ratio of officers to men so at advanced tactics training we'll have 100 officers for 900 men so 10 percent of a battalion will be officers that sounds Sounds like a good ratio. Our private sector has been building a few buildings. Hmm. Let's have a think about when do we want to actually go for um, pro capita taxation and how do we get there. We need industrialists or petite bourgeoisie to pass it. In government, industrialists have 19.6% uh, clout. Petite bourgeoisie has 15.3%. We do want a lot of loyalists. Yeah, we want to build up as many loyalists as we can. We also build, want to build up our gold reserves. So to be perfectly honest, we might as well start passing per capita taxation now because we want to pass it. We want to wait until we can actually well, we'll fill up our gold reserves and then we make a play. So to that end, let's go ahead and try to reform the government. What can we do? Mm, landowners and Orthodox Church, we need you. Oh. Okay, Petit Bourgeoisie, also, also unacceptable. That's mm, not not good. Could we take out the Orthodox Church? Bring industrialists in? Nope. Petit Bourgeoisie, no, even worse. Oh, dearie me. Dearie me. How do we get per capita taxation through? Mm, again, guys, I don't want to lose. I mean, we want to remain at least contested. Okay, is there anything that's going to give us between 50, at least 50 legitimacy? At least 50. In fact, our armed forces. Hang on a second. Let's just have a look again. So we have taxation policy per capita. Who supports this? Petite bourgeoisie endorses industrialist armed forces actually support this as well. I think we've discovered that in the previous episode. Right? Mm, council monarchy okay we have royalists everywhere taxation right yeah loyalists exactly Oof, okay so we get armed forces and the trouble is well this enables the passage of the law we're going to start with 11 percent success chance oh, dearie me mm. what if we take these guys out get industrialists in no Petit bourgeois, petit, oh, sorry, industrialist, petite bourgeoisie in. No, oh, that's even worse. Illegitimate government. Because it's all, all the ideology penalties, aren't they? Yeah, government ideology penalty minus 48. Yeah, so Orthodox Church, landowners, and the armed forces. We are building up the armed forces, so hopefully their cloud should improve. We do have professional army, which gives them 25% political strength. Perhaps we should wait just a little bit. 
Because as we build up the barracks, their clout should increase, right? We're getting servicemen. Um, yeah, let's maybe wait just a tad. Yeah, there we are. We built another barracks. It's another. The bunch of men, thirteen officers, yep, yeah, servicemen. Let's keep look close attention to. armed forces the trouble is yeah, you know, we're adding soldiers we're also improving kind of various industries i think like the arms industry and the artillery industry <laughs> are building up uh building up our officers and servicemen and that means they get richer that means they get wealthier that means they get more powerful they get more political strength it's very difficult to trace to be honest the even you know increase in population or even certain jobs necessarily all the way through actual clout increases. How about we go here? If we stop, we're, we're not even, we're not bolstering anyone other than the armed forces. Maybe we do go, with, I mean, if we don't pass per capita taxation, if we try to pass that law and it fails, our entire plan is ruined, to be honest. Yeah, we can't. No, let's just play around with this a bit more. Taking out Orthodox Church removes the penalty, right? So it removes 20 penalty from having more than one interest group in government because we're autocratic. The base, base size of government is one, right? This is why, but that doesn't change much because, you know, if you add them overall, it's a benefit. I mean, you would take out, you, yeah, you get the minus 20 penalty and we do get ideological penalty from differences in the laws we have adopted versus their ideologies. If we take them out and we only add the armed forces, we're at 50. If we only add petit bourgeoisie, that's 5% for the success chance, but we, we're in unacceptable government. Unacceptable. What about yeah, armed forces and petit bourgeoisie? Nope. Armed forces and industrialists. Yeah, none of these. It's just too different. There we go. This isn't the only viable configuration. Armed forces actually losing cloud. How are you losing cloud, guys? We're building, building up the army. You know what? I'm actually even though it's going to cost us. Uh, sorry, where's it? Even though it's going to cost us to maintain more officers, right? It's going to increase, yeah, our expenses by 141. I'm going to go ahead and do it now, just to actually get more of, I guess, 700 more officers and see if that helps us. See if that helps us uh, increase you know, the clout of the armed force. I want to get it to at least 15%, maybe. And it would be nice to get it to 20, I won't lie. We've been trying to do that to get the bonuses as well. We definitely want them at 20% when we start the war. Let's have a look, wait, hang on. Let's have a look. Armed forces interest group. Right? Professional soldiers and others whose interests are tied strongly to the country's military. Armed forces are supported by servicemen, laborers to a big extent, shopkeepers, peasants, probably those working in the arms industries. I wouldn't be surprised. 11 point and a half. From what? You get it from wealth. Average wealth of the of pops that support them is 14.4. And that means you get 11.56 per politically active pop. Right, so that's 8,000. That's 8,000. Uh, 8.8 thousand .8 people supporting them each one having on average 11 political support why is it 11 and a half or political kind of strength per individual why is it 11 and a half it's because of the average wealth which is really standard of living and this does not linear this goes let's maybe talk about that for a second so for example let's go population uh i don't remember if we talk i don't think we talked about this before but for example if we look at peasants right even though they are i say uh, impoverished, so standard of living of 10. Look at their political strength. We have from wealth 10, and right now we don't have votes, so we forget about this. So we get from wealth, they uh, they get 16,000 political strength, right? And then we have plus 25% from capital state, just because they live in the capital. Their political strength is increased by 25%. Uh, that's that's what gives 20,000 total here. But ultimately, so without the modify, it's 16,000. Why is it 16,000? Because it's a wealth 10 pop, and there are working age adults, there's 
thousand of them, right? Uh, and only the workforce part of a pop is act, you know, politically uh, active and actually you know, uh, is able to gain any political strength, at least for now. And at wealth tender, I think this is a kind of hard coded number, so it's 0 0.75, right, per pop. That's why 0 0.75 roughly times 22,000 right, brings that down to 16,000. Right? Whereas if we look at, for example, shopkeepers, okay, they're obviously Af Ooh, trade center guys are struggling. Oh dear. Okay, maybe this is it's not great, I guess. Well, our trade routes have been a bit wonky. Yeah, I mean, I want to I show like a smaller stepping stone rather than 30. Well, let's say farmers, secure. I mean, okay, even 17, let's say they're middling, 17. From 17, they get 9 for politically active pop. Not 0 0.75, but 9, right? So they haven't gone up by 70%. They've gone up by, I mean, over 9x, more like uh, 13, 14 times more political power, right? There's only 2,000 farmers here, yet because their standard of living is 17, they're carrying... I mean, you know, almost 50% more political power than those 20,000 working laborers, right? 2,000, 20,000. And look at this political strength. So what we need... Oh, you know what? Mm, okay, actually, I just remembered one other way to increase, I guess, the power and prestige and everything from armed forces is to pay them more. This would cost us plus 449, so half, and, half a thousand. So we get plus 20% morale recovery, plus two armed forces approval. That would be nice. Thirty percent military wages, so they would make them richer, give them more clout, plus twenty percent prestige from army power projection. We might actually do this because we need per capita taxation to succeed. We are already like running down our gold reserves, however. But um, Austria Hungary bankrolling us. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and increase this. We need everything. I mean it will later on when we drop taxes, and I've talked about this before, it is not a good idea to increase and then drop, uh, sorry, not taxes, wages. Because on the way, right now, we're going to get quite a few loyalists in there as well, among the servicemen, obviously, and officers. But later, when we drop it back to normal, then, you know, that, that's going to cost us. But we are getting 19 loyalty. We, we want to get them to 20 clout. Yeah, we have more than enough loyalty. What we want is clout right now. We really want to build up the clout of the armed forces. Intelligentsia used to be influential, now they're marginalized. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay, but at least Austria is bankrolling us. Let's have a look at our at the diplomatic lens and have a think about some diplomatic actions. Say um, diplomatic demands rather. Return state. Can we? No. So the relations with Serbia and Ottoman Empire are less than cordial. And so that's what we need. We need to damage relations with the Ottoman Empire. To be honest, we can probably start doing that now. Diplomatic actions, damage relations. Let's go ahead. It's now or never. Gonna damage relations with them. Our economy will take a hit when we... Uh... Oh, I'm not sure what this stuttering... What? What's going on? Hmm. It's a little bit odd. Maybe I've all tapped too many times. Sorry, I was testing the new audio. And there's a bit of lag. Wow. A lot of lag. Interesting. Um, hmm. Not sure why this is. But, uh, okay, let's go ahead and... With damage relations, hopefully... I mean, that will take some time. Not too much time, I hope. Hope we haven't... We're not doing it too early either. Damage relations for Serbia each day towards decreasing relations to a minimum of minus 50. Okay. Customs union is giving us plus 1%, obviously. In mutual relations changing by minus 1 on 28th of July, 1868. Ongoing efforts to damage relations are 25% progress, 2% per day. Per day, wow. And will result in mutual relations changing by minus one on 20th. Line. Okay, maybe maybe we have done it in time. Okay, I haven't, haven't done a lot of, to be honest, diplomacy in Victoria 3. So we'll see how that works or how long that actually takes. 
Um, hmm. Okay, meanwhile, let's continue to work. We're still getting migration, getting good population growth. 1.3%, excellent. So we have the overview here. Infrastructure, okay, infrastructure, well, yeah, we're doing fine on everything. GDP is growing. We just need more barracks. We need a bigger military and we need to pass per capita taxation. That will and build up our gold reserves. That's another thing we need to do. Right, have a look at our military. Yeah, we are on this six, eight infantry battalions. Obviously, we need more. We do want to switch to skirmish infantry soon as well. Do we actually have munitions? No, we actually don't have a munitions plant yet either. I'm just reminding myself of where we where we ended up at the end of the previous episode. Yeah, okay, let's build the barracks, then we build the munitions plant, and then we switch. Right? And once the munitions plant is up, we switch with many, many of our uh, regiments. Let's provi you know, provide demand for the munitions plant. Okay. We are kind of chewing through our gold reserves, whereas we kind of want to be doing the opposite, to be honest. Landowners, armed forces. Okay, 12%. Okay, let's go to speed 3. Keep watching the cloud of the armed forces. Sorry. No, okay, we've changed it by 1. Okay, it's going to take a while. It's good that we got that going. Right, here we are. Average wealth has now increased, right? So it means political power supporting them has increased, 110,000. I guess we have about a million political power. Right, well, whereas we look at Orthodox Church, we have 20,000, 20.8 thousand population supporting them. Uh, who is supporting them? Well, shopkeepers, clergymen, farmers, peasants. But yeah, it will really be, for example, these 16 capitalists that support them. Probably provide them with a whole lot of political power. Is there a way to see like where does that cloud come from? Mm, yeah, not by group, I guess. Yeah, but we have obviously state religion. Yeah, so average wealth thirteen higher than military. All right, that's two hundred. So it's yeah, twice two. Yeah, twice much. But yeah, this is just more people, really. Actually, the average wealth of people supporting the Orthodox Church isn't that much higher than the armed forces. Yeah, it's not that much higher. We just need more more people. But to do that, we need... Uh, more barracks. We are doing that somewhat slowly. 14 weeks. Every 14 weeks we get our barracks. Okay, but we really need to get to per capita taxation. That's key. Artillery is pretty cheap. 17 battalions. Theory me. Industrialists used to be influential. Now they're powerful. Okay, well, we do get 20% production research speed and job career and 20% capitalist investment pool contribution efficiency. I want our forces to be powerful. 12%. feel like maybe we just bite the bullet and try to pass it as per capita no one opposes it in our right so there what shouldn't be a high stall chance right per capita who opposes it landowners are oh, they have 12 percent cloud dear me the landowners hmm. now, heir apparent is part of the orthodox church it would be cool if he was uh, part of the armed forces although we don't know how long Milan Obrenovich plans to live for. He's hated though. This guy's hated. He's landowners. How do we? We can't suppress them. No, can't suppress. Uh... I think because they're in government. Yeah, because we do have the, we do have the authority. Hmm. What if we reform? If we throw out the landowners, we immediately lose 50, but we also lose a lot of clout. No, industrialists. I mean, we could do this, for example, then get industrialists. Petit, no, they're, they're too diametrically opposed. We get military and petite bourgeoisie. No, they're... 
Okay, industrialists on their own. Orthodox Church. Orthodox Church and military? No. None of it. Yeah, this is... Okay, we'll get... That's will be 50, but I mean, adding Orthodox Church. Yeah, this is the best setup. Yeah, so I feel like, okay, we're going to have to... I think we're going to have to just... Mm, just bite the bullet, I was going to say, and... Uh, and just kick off uh, per capita with 11% 11, 11 and then if we fail, okay, we're going to have to wait two years and then we're going to have to try and pass it again. There is no other way, really. Because we're running out of time. It is rising, so as we start to pass the law, 12% is not... 30, 30, yeah, there it is. There it is. Now it's ticking up. So let's maybe give it... Fine, let's give it a little bit of more time. Let's get these three barracks built. I really want just fifteen percent. Come on. It will, because it will also keep increasing the legitimacy of our government, fixing our contested government issue. There we go. More, more men for the army. We only have thirty-six thousand peasants. Uh, we are, we will want to raise. Okay, we only have five thousand conscripts now because we moved to professional army. So that's five thousand of these will be conscripted. Here we go. Yeah, um, barracks. Deary me. Okay, we're running pretty massive deficit now. Okay, we kind of have to. We have. We, have, we just have to. We can't afford even this build-up anymore. Although, could we, again, just delay by passing, for example, the consumption tax on tobacco? Hmm... Services, transportation, yeah, tobacco would be the best one. I mean, it will piss a lot of people off. Right, hang on, let's just pause for a second and think about this. Let's go to our population tab. Have a look. So everyone's building wealth, yeah, apart from our upper strata. Yeah, but this tobacco is the third. Good, I mean, it is, it's got a decent price in our market, so we could actually buy ourselves a little bit of time, but again, like, we either, either we we don't you don't want to pass these consumption taxes for like just a couple of years and then remove them. We really want to just uh, nor do we want to up these taxes. Well, that is another possibility. I mean, even right now, even with land-based taxation, right? We could. Hmm. I mean, even this, if we went to medium taxes right now, we could actually cover the deficit we're incurring. What I am kind of afraid of, though, is that uh, is that we won't be able. To, it won't be enough money anyway. We'd rather go to maybe per capita and keep it at low. We also get plus ten legitimacy from this, as we'll lose that. I to go per capita. Per capita, even at just at very low level, will give us plus four thousand. All right, and we're going to need to fight the Ottomans and later the Austrians. So. I mean, it will dampen our population growth, unfortunately, and I do want to keep that keep that in there for as long as I can. Do we want to just keep tobacco? Put in tobacco, that will give us 0 0.9. We'll still be in deficit for 300k, but 300k we can last a lot longer with 300,000 deficit. Mm -hmm. Choices. We are on a collision course. I do want to just get Southern Serbia already. By 1876, right? 40 years into the game. We need, we need to we need to fight the Ottomans. We have Greeks in an alliance with us. What do they bring? I mean, they do bring... Uh, sorry, where are they? 15 battalions. Okay. Power projection of 464. As opposed to us with... Uh, Okay, so we're kind of similar to them, to be honest. I keep thinking they're really weak and they don't really count for much, but they're actually very similar to ours. Hmm. Yeah, once we switch especially to skirmish infantry and start buying munitions as well, we need per capita. The armed forces, okay, they are at 13%. I feel like we're going to have to 
If we fail, we fail. Contested government. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and confirm. Let's go land-based taxation per capita. 13% chance. All right. Oof. Let's go ahead and see what happens now. Okay, I, we will stomach this deficit that should last us 118 weeks, or about 100 weeks, so about two years, right? Because this is per week. So I don't want to pass that uh, consumption tax on tobacco. Uh, so I don't want to, again, switch between sort of turning things on and off, on and off. Okay, we do have one and a half million population now. And if we get at least Southern Serbia, that's another million population. We'll be rolling in money literally rolling but that means that's a good thing because we'll be able to maintain that large military and we'll switch our construction sectors to iron frame buildings right um or are they to iron frames maybe build even another one so we'll double you know maybe get up to 20 um get up to 20 um, construction speed um yeah, and build up at least these two. I mean, if we could get Montenegro, that would be objective number two. We'd cut off Bosnia and we'd get access to C, I hope. Although I'm not sure if if like we'd actually need the Qatar or this little piece of uh, Montenegro to actually have access to C. I'm not sure about that, if I'm honest. It would be also nice to get Bosnia. Okay, inefficient agriculture. So this is not related to the law, it's just a random event. The industrialists have started complaining about the existence of subsistence farms in northern Serbia, stating that their undeniable inefficiency should be immediately addressed. And we should follow their advice. 25% migration attraction, or they serve our purposes. Yeah, industrialists are pretty loyal, so... Yeah, they're loyal. They serve our purposes. So they lose minus one for five years, that's okay. Leave our peasants alone. You know, they have an important job ahead of them. Go to speed three, keep building the barracks. Okay, more furniture manufacturers. Okay, corporate charters unlocked. Companies whose assets and income are separate from that of their owners and investors, thereby uh, thereby mitigating personal risks while encouraging entrepreneurship. That's corporate charters. Okay, plus one max number of companies. Okay, so we could actually establish a company. Let's go have a look at this. I mean, all this what it does is it like, kind of gives us some bonuses. Okay, we actually have an available company. Okay, hang on a second. Establish the United Northern Serbia Forestry Producers. Hang on a second. I didn't expect us to actually be able to uh, have a company, but we can. Would affect 12 building levels in Serbia. Company throughput bonus. Company construction bonus. Hang on. Activates a 100 prosperity plus one infrastructure per 100,000 population. Plus 20 maximum. This is very nice for us. Except when you prosperity. Why is this? Would not currently increase in prosperity. Why? Let's see. Rubber plantations. Oh, sorry. Uh, hmm. Hold on. Establish. Okay, we can establish this. Would affect 12 billion. It would give us higher throughput. Right? On. Sorry. Why does this tooltip appear like all the way here? And company construction and increase or decrease to the weekly construction progress added by companies to their associated buildings okay so we, if we build more logging camps i guess that will be they will build, build much faster put in a half percent from base value it's okay, so more throughput just means more wood let's have a look i mean logging camps we are at almost maxed out level but obviously without changing production methods we could you know lower lower the price of wood um, hmm. at 100 prosperity companies have a prosperity score which depends on their productivity when a company has at least 100 prosperity it will activate a bonus modifier for its country prosperity will increase while productivity is at least 25 1.25 the global average whichever is lower would decrease okay so what's our production our logging camps are currently at 8.9 okay hang on a second so logging camps at 8.9, number 171 logging camps in the world. Come on, guys, but we're already choking almost, at least at the price of wood. It's 29%. And if we put this company in, then it will increase throughput, which means it shouldn't require higher wages, but it will produce 
you know, like 10% more wood. United Northern Survey of Forestry produces 8.9 productivity. Okay, prosperity. At least 25 or 1.25, the global average, whichever is lower. Okay, can you tell us? Global average productivity is 10.4. Okay, so if we manage to raise that to above 10.4, we would actually build this up. And this would be nice for us. It'd be very nice for us. Um... Go ahead. I feel like it's nice and immersive and thematic and roleplay fits our roleplay. Logging camps have been very important for our country and will continue to be. We get Southern Serbia. We do have logging camps there as well. Although going forward, we will only decrease. Right, we will only yeah decrease the demand for for wood once we go to iron frame buildings. Not too sure. Establish the United Northern Serbia Forestry Producers. Let's go ahead and establish it just to see. Just to see what it actually does. I'd go ahead. I doubt we'll have an opportunity for more, more companies, right? I mean, maybe iron mines later. I'll go ahead and establish it. There we are. Let's go ahead. Let's just track, track its progress, right? Knowledge of realism has started to spread. Okay. We should get a throughput bonus. Let's see. Logging camps, 25%. 11% because we have because we have 12 sized uh you know logging camps. That's one above level one gives you one percent. So plus eleven plus fourteen from log from company throughput throughput bonus. So you see we now produce 452 wood. If we had any inputs, we would also take more inputs. This throughput increases it uh good inputs and outputs. It doesn't increase wages though. So we got that economies of scale from uh Right, from using the same amount of labor to produce more output. But you do have need more input still. Bonus of scale effects cap to level 20. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, building level cap 20. Okay, the maximum number of building levels that can confer economies of scale effect. I only have one more left here. Okay. And we only decrease the price a little bit. Oh, we're at 9.7 now. Well, we need it to be at 10, don't we, to build prosperity. Okay. To get 10. Well, we're building more furniture manufacturers. Maybe that will help us. Oh, furniture is expensive. Luxury furniture, okay. It's good that our private sector is building this. This will put more more demand for, you know, create more demand for wood. Okay. We are going to lose all this hardwood, though, when we start the war with the Ottomans. Okay, we are reducing relations. That's actually taken quite a while oh dear let's see what are we base our legislative efficiency only okay so we don't have the government anymore as you guys recall we don't have the uh, righteous government would give us minus 25 percent enactment time so that's nice that's what reduces a hundred day cycle of checkpoints when passing laws we don't even have that we don't even have the 20 we only get minus eight percent from excess authority that's okay. We still want the consumption taxes. We want all three decrees. Bolstering up forces, suppressing rural folk, and suppressing intelligentsia. We could actually... Austria-Hungary bankrolling us. Thank you. We could actually go ahead and stop suppressing, for example, intelligentsia. It's just to not waste authority. That will increase our enact enactment time bonus. And we could even do so with rural folk. I guess... So they are at five percent. They're giving us some nice bonuses. So yeah, yeah. maintaining these at five would be actually be nice. They're loyal, so we get plus ten percent infrastructure. Yeah, let's stop suppressing them. I mean, one reason to suppress them, I would say, is to push pops out of them and into armed forces, hopefully, or at least to other interest groups that uh, are in government, thereby uh, increasing the legitimacy of our government. Hopefully, if they get to armed forces, actually increasing the success chance of per capita taxation but uh it's fine we drop that so now we have minus 20 25 percent enactment time bonus we do need to look at our bureaucracy as well we're losing that nine percent state construction and we're getting pretty close to losing tax revenue which is not what we want so we will build another government administration 
Uh, we're already at the standardized filing cabinets. Ooh, paper is expensive. And that's because of the Ottoman market. Ottoman market just wants all the paper we can get. Could, we could import a little bit of sulfur, but this again would change the ownership method. And, you know, and deny us four and a half thousand labor jobs to our peasants. Although we need those peasants now for conscripts, but later on. So I'm going to leave this at the same production method. Attracted, okay, per capita has attracted new supporters, increasing enactment succession by 15%. So that was the advance event. Um, nice. Still, so, yeah. So next we got the... Yeah, we have stall chance of 10.8%. It's because landowners cloud is 10.8% and they're in government. Right. The outcome of the last checkpoint. Yeah, it was advanced, yeah. Advance is 12.9% for our armed forces times two minus stall chance. And the debate is the plug. Right, so it's just... Oh, so we're most likely to get into a debate. Actually, or success and advance together, that's 42%. Let's see. Building up our military. Austria Hungary ended their ongoing bankrolling of our country. Theory. Really. Kind of need that money. If this is going to take too long, we might have to pass that tobacco law. Let's go to speed three. Vineyards are hiring. That is good. Our trade centers are at level 25. Yeah, explosives. Hopefully, we actually start using these explosives in our own industry. Actually, fairly profitable our trading centers. These guys are having a good time. We got six and a half thousand shopkeepers in here, middling standard of living. Yeah, that's my take a take a bit of a hit. Although it's Austria, Hungary, Great Britain, we're exporting our glass to um, Great Britain. That's nice. More glass to Russia. Actually, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to maintain these trade routes at, you know, through Austria, Hungary. Hmm. But getting Montenegro though would be very, very nice. But at least southern Serbia, that would give us a lot of coal and lead of our own. Because we'll need lead now for the munitions factories as well. We're getting lead and coal it would make us steel and we'll just power power forward. Uh, Montenegro is tricky. We need to somehow get actual state of Montenegro to merge with us. I don't know if that's even possible to be really honest, but I hope it is. We got what another sixteen thousand Serbs in there. What? Yeah, they better stick with us. Yeah, definitely need more bureaucracy. We're starting to run dangerously low on bureaucracy, if I'm honest. In fact, I'm even going to go ahead and put that above munition plants. Build one more. Barracks, then we build government administration, then we build munitions plants. So we only need munitions plants when we switch to skirmish infantry. Okay. Oh, let's see what we get at this checkpoint. Oh, social banditry. Stall event for the enactment of per capita taxation. The petit bourgeoisie are now powerful. We'll have a look at that. The people of the northern Serbia tell tell the story of a highwayman who robs from the rich and gives to the poor. The legend is spreading quickly throughout Serbia, damaging support for the per capita taxation law. He's so dashing, even as he stole the pearls from around my neck, I couldn't help but feel flustered. He left a single rose upon my lap as he vanished into the night with a flourish of his cape. Okay, hunt down the bandit, 33% chance we get plus 10% enactment chance, 33% chance we get minus 10. 33% chance we get minus 20% and 25% of lower child become more radical. Oh, attempt to relieve pov poverty in northern Serbia. Minus 10% enactment success chance. And for two years we get standard of living increase and we get 30% tax waste. Are you crazy? No. We have to hunt down the bandit. Oh, let's see what we get. Oh, we got the worst. No way. No way, we got minus 20%. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Where is this Robin Hood? She's just... Oh, this is gonna... Okay, this is gonna take a while now. We're gonna have to pass that tobacco. Well, 
Yeah, we're just gonna have to. Ah, oh. we can't afford to. This is gonna take a long time now, with eight percent success chance. Oh, this. Oh, god. I've never seen that event before either. Don't know where it's come from. Fine. The silver lining is that at least our population keeps growing, and we get migration. The longer we stay with the Ottomans, the higher the tax base eventually. Okay, small deficit is all right. Okay, let's speed this up. We've built 20... Uh, yes, we built... What do we have? 20 barracks now. We have 10 and 10. Our army. Probably need more infantry. Because I'm not sure if the, the penalty... For example, we have no penalty now because we have equal, well, at least equal number of infantry to artillery, right? But if they start dying, and I think they're more likely to start dying... Is that penalty going to kick back in? I'm not sure. Okay, we can ch change these guys. Okay, death and taxes. A debate event. Sava Billy Markovic has suddenly died while drafting legislation for the per capita taxation law. Oh, who is he? Armed forces. The leader of... Oh, what? He was... Oh, are you kidding me? He's dead? He, oh, he was such a good leader. Oh, hang on. This is a loss. A loss for the nation. A major loss for the nation. He was like a great guy. He was a royalist. Oh, okay, well, no. Sava Bilmi. Billy Markovic, you'll be missed. Okay. A human being is dead. The body is barely cold and you speak of passing legislation. Can you not put politics aside so that we can mourn it in peace? Let us mourn the loss of a great leader. Okay, we get 10% success chance. But 20% enactment time. Yes, let us mourn the loss of a great leader. Oh, who do we get now? Okay, we got Georgia. Georgia Garasanin. Okay, Georgia Garasanin. Royalist also. Good man. Serbian. Neutral. A okay, 33. He's reckless. 10 popularity. Minus 20% character health. Interest group leader. Minus 2 opposition. Interest group approval. Okay, so he just pissed off everyone in opposition. Armed forces is in government. Everyone else is in opposition. As ruler, okay, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As commander, my Simpson recovery rate. Okay, he's not going to be a commander then. And this character is known to be reckless and foolhardy. Reckless advance. Okay, he's a political operator though. So it's interest group leader plus 5% interest group political strength. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so that has increased a little bit. Hmm, okay, neither here nor there, I'd say. Sava will be missed. I think he was a better, better, better deal. Force is 13%. Come on. Interesting, why does it keep going like up and down? So, cloud, your remains. Your wealth is now 13. So, probably should be more people. We now have 10.9 thousand supporting these guys. Well, let's see. Let's just take the whole population. In fact, let's go population details tab. For example, servicemen. Well, they even have some Bulgarians in there. So only 70% of them support the armed forces. Interesting. Sorry, was it the duel? Alexander Karadurdovich has challenged Petar Dragutinovich, who is le leader of Petite Bourgeoisie, and this is leader of our Brigadier General. Oh, the aura surrounding the two figures. Put this speed one. The aura surrounding their two figures is like something out of a romantic novel. Pietar Dragutinovich smiles. He has been rehearsing this moment before falling asleep. Alexander Karadordovich, you are a friendless bastard. Your insults cannot go unanswered. Pick a weapon of choice and we shall meet tomorrow. Let them fight. Okay, Pietar has the upper hand here. Hmm... I think this guy's a pacifist, isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah. Okay, because he's like he's more likely to win though. No, sorry, he's no actually our general. So this is a chance to die. So it's, okay, we might actually kill this guy off. We should stop it. Uh, minus two landowners interest group approval. Yeah, that doesn't really matter. Let them fight. I mean we're in eighteen sixty nine, let's settle this. Like the real men of uh nineteenth century. Okay, let's see. Boom. Former politician Pietar has died. The pacifist. Nice. Can we get someone better? Who do we... A Democrat. 
kidding me? She's the petite bourgeoisie. I mean, you're supposed to be reactionary. Okay. Strongly opposes autocracy. <laughs> the leader prioritizes the institution of democracy and opposes uncontested rule over the nation. Get out of here. Just get out. Can I exile you? 10 days. Okay, he's getting exiled. We don't, we don't need any Democrats in our ranks just before we... Yeah, look at all these good men. Royalist. Another Democrat. Industrialist. Also Democrats. Jesus. Oh, that's why I think they were dropping so much. And there yeah, we have royalists and jingoists. That's what we like. The real government. All these. Petit bourgeoisie, though. Industrialists, I understand. But petit bourgeoisie, that's like a knife in the back. They are loyal and they are powerful. We're getting minus 20% loan interest bonus from them and plus 20% bureaucracy. That's very nice. That is a very nice bonus. Yeah, they are out of government, so it doesn't really matter that he's a Democrat. But maybe if we do exile him, just to keep that thing on cooldown, right? Can we get, like, a royalist? It would be so nice to get a royalist. Let's, let's, let's just kick him out. What do we get? Protect as the agitator role. Okay, no. Are not marginalized. If exiled, vehicle Balimaric will leave Serbia and be recruited by other characters as agitator. The amount of radicals generated depends on our freedom of speech laws and the popularity of the character. He's a little bit popular. As 2% of the bourgeoisie members of Pops in Serbia become more radical. Get him out. Another Democrat. No, I'm sorry, that's him. That's him gone. Land reformer. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Land reformer. Neutral towards. Okay, he endorses homesteading, which we have, right? This character is committed to breaking the power of large landowners and redistributing land to be worked by the common people. Good. And he's on board with uh, proportional... Uh, he strongly opposes land taxation. Well, get on, get, 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 can we bring you in? Armed forces, you're going to have to take a back seat. No, we can't. Can we make the Orthodox Church take a back seat? Bring these guys? No, it just doesn't, just doesn't work. That's better. That's better. How, how old is this guy? 38. Zivojin Karadordovich. A lot of Karadordovich around. Oh, but if only we had them in government. Because even for a short while, can we stomach? Can we stomach like lower legitimacy? Bring this guy in. Plus 50% enactment chance. Can we throw the landowners out of here? No. Can we throw, like, Orthodox Church out of here? And the armed forces? No, like, nothing. This would give us, like, 20% chance. This would give us, like, 35% success chance. It's just that illegitimate government creates radicals. Hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to keep sitting there. I mean, if things become really dire, we will th throw the Petit Bourgeoisie in there for the success chance. Let's see. Temporary embarrassment debate event. Ambitious middle strata citizens are opposing pro capita taxation on the grounds that when they inevitably become wealthy capitalists, they will be excessively taxed. What do you mean? You're going to be not going to. That's the opposite of what's going to happen. Why are we opposing the law, my friend? You're not rich. Not yet, but as soon as my next business venture takes off, I will be a wealthy man. And when that happens, I surely would not want to be taxed so highly. They should be more realistic. Minus 10% success enactment chance, plus 3 minimum expected standard of living. Wow. Sway them with a tax cut. Minus 4% income tax rate for 2 years, plus 10% success chance. Yep, sway them with a short-term tax tax cut. Yes, please. Austria-Hungary, British rivalry declared. Okay, 29% chance. It's good. Oh dear, we're still running a massive deficit. Oh, because we just lost 4% of our income. Hmm, but we're not actually levying income taxes. Interesting. Why did this suddenly drop to minus 1.4k? I think maybe it's because we're building government administration, is that why? We could, to be honest, just pause all construction for now. The armed forces is growing in cloud. That's good. 
we do want to get them to 20% to get the double double bonuses of uh, military research speed and pat patriotic fervor plus 20% off. We would get 20% offense plus 20% defense. Yeah, we need everything we can muster. Okay, hopefully we're getting close. 31 weeks for administration. Not strictly necessary. And it will put more strain on our budget. But it will be nice to have. Because we're, yeah, we're getting the bonus now from uh, Petite Bourgeoisie 20%. If that ever goes away for any reason, or even drops to 10%, like we could be in trouble. Because as soon as you step into a negative balance, you start losing tax revenue. That is not what we want. So we'll just future-proof our country. Once we get a million population from southern Serbia, we'll also have to be ready to administer that. So we need that bureaucracy. Nice. Migration attraction. Okay, pop growth plus 20,000 plus, plus 25,000 per year. Now we're getting more peasants. 28.9 thousand. Okay. Any chance? What about logging camps? And 9.7. Get companies. Let's pin it to our outliner. See if we are actually building prosperity. Unfortunately, we're not. Because we're above, below, sorry, 10. Uh, prosperity. Global average, 10.8. Please. Price of wood is pretty high as it is, to be honest. Yeah, let's go ahead and speed 5. Law debate success for capital taxation has been debated in political spheres with a positive outcome, increasing enactment success by 10%. Nice. 40%. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. I was hoping to start the war by 1876 or so, but it seems like it might actually take longer. It's okay. Yeah, 1880. In this in this decade, we need to we need to take a step towards unifying the Serbian people. It's been too long. They're choking. We can... Choking under the yoke of the Ottomans. And we know it. Diet inputs good shortage in the Ottoman market. Doesn't really affect us. Personally. I mean, they could get them from Persia. Diplomatically, is there anything we can also do? Yeah, we have an interest in Danubia. So if Russia declared war, we'd be ready, even right now, we'd be glad to jump in. But alliance, we're in alliance with Greece. Right, no one else. Improve relations. Later on, we're going to have to make friends with the Prussians. And I think that works to like gang up on Austria-Hungary and liberate the Serbian people here. They want to unite the German people. We want to unite the Serbian people. That is a perfect, perfect match. Yeah, let's go ahead and speed this up. Law debate success, yes, has been detailed. Debated in political spheres with a positive outcome, increasing enactment success by 10%. Excellent. Uh, oh, the enactment, enactment time is massive, though. Plus 20%, minus 21.4% from legislative efficiency, which is the surplus authority. Mm. So we've levied another another consumption tax, which has reduced the surplus. So it's it, it was a full 25% bonus before. Now it's a bit lower, but there's nothing here we want to remove. 60 popularity for Prince Milan Obrenovic. He's hated. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. This is quite interesting as well. Decreases the standard of living. Ooh. I think it's taxing that tobacco. It's taxing that tobacco that has hurt us. The pop growth speed has remained. Oh, dearie me. Um, that's uh, quite a bit, quite a few. We used to have, what, three, three, almost 400,000 loyalists. And this means that they, not only went, did they go from loyalist to neutral, they actually went from neutral to Radical, that's not good ahead of the war, especially. And it's all in middle, I think middle and upper strata as well. That's not great. Triage unlocked. By treating the wounded in, re in regard to the seriousness of their wounds and the likelihood of recovery, it is possible to make a much more effective emer emergency care system. Okay. Okay, what, what are we researching now? 
postal savings. Not a bad idea. This gives us uh, more cash reserves. And I will be able to build up our gold reserves to higher value. Because each building has cash reserves. This increases by 20%. The sum of all cash reserves across all of your buildings is the max gold reserves you can accumulate. Uh, and then we have plus 15% farmers and shopkeepers investment pool, which we have a lot of. So this would be a good one for us. But in terms of the military, it would be nice to get shrapnel artillery. Because I would also buy ammunition and artillery. I mean, could we power through? We actually have rifling. Or no, we do not have rifling. So this would take us three years. Okay, so this would take nine years. This actually is a small possibility we'll finish this. I mean, this would be nice to have as well, but we'll get this later. We're, not, we're nowhere near maxing out our gold reserves. So let's go ahead and power through to Shrapnel Artillery. That would be a great bonus. I mean, it's nine years. So it's quite a while, but if only we could get our armed forces to 20%. We're all the like aristocrats and everybody. Okay, these radicals though, like they are okay, at least they're not decreasing the loyalty of our interest group, so we are still getting all the bonuses. Okay, our intelligentsia. Uh is industries are no longer powerful. Okay, so they've dropped below 16%. Okay, it's all about petite bourgeoisie now. That's fine. Hmm, although yeah, it's okay. It's not too big enough. We're not researching any production techs right at this moment. That's okay. Intelligentsia is back in the game. After we stop suppressing them. Uh, I mean, you could at least give us a 10% society research bonus. But that needs uh, loyalists. and uh, Yeah, they only have a thousand loyalists among them. Who's got the radicals? Or are they, the radicals politically unaligned? Yeah, that... Oh, hang on. Can do attitude. Soldiers are complaining that they have no way to open their canned food. Sure. The food's a bit, the, the food's a bit better, but what's the point if we can't get it, get at it, eh? Some lads use rocks, others knives. The only reliable thing is how bloody annoying it is to eat. Spend some money to develop a way. They'll figure it out. Uh, no, we don't want to get lose approval. Oh, what minus three thousand for five years, an extra four hundred. Okay, we should be able to pass. Maybe that will give us some benefits in the future to morale. So let's go ahead and spend some money to develop a way. We need to take care of our troops. Oh, this one. Hang on, this is... <laughs> Popular playwright endorses reform. Okay, in the midst of the debates surrounding pro capita taxation, one of the country's leading playwrights, strongly associated with the armed forces, has staged a widely acclaimed play whose politically laden theme makes no secret of the author's desire for the law to be passed. Oh, now of course we want success chance, but we want the 20 permanent prestige is just so strong. Currently we have 147. We're going to have to go for the prestige. We're at 49 success chance. Let us ensure the play gets a wider international audience. And the reason for that, I think it also is going to help our diplomacy. And if we were to be able to get at least three of these, we actually stand a decent chance of becoming a major power. There I say it. I think there is a small chance. We need to grow our GDP. Our armed forces will grow. And our GDP will grow massively when we get at least one of these. I mean, just population alone is about a million people here. Another 200,000 in Montenegro, 670,000 in here. We do have a shot, so let's go ahead and take it. Okay, we're building munitions factory. Okay, we're up in bureaucracy. That is good. Oh, this is why this is why we suddenly gotten a massive deficit. That's because we built those uh, government administrations that are now taking like... Okay, we kind of have a massive surplus now. We're using 171, although it's still not even enough for the whole construction bonus. Yeah, I was going to reduce this maybe. But... The paper is just really expensive. Oh... Uh... Okay, can the industrialists build some paper? Sorry, the private sector. Uh, can we just... Hmm, or do we just import some sulfur and stomach the capitalists right now? Because this is... This is killing us. Absolutely killing us. 
absolutely killing us, but... Or do we get more jobs for the peasants? Increase loyalists. Oh, dearie me. I think we're going to have to go with this option. Just when we fall out of the Ottoman market. Right, but what does this produce? It produces 40 and 40. You're producing 80. And how much do we consume internally? I mean, universities take 5. Well, let's go to philosophy department. Plus 1 innovation. I mean, we... It's going to cost us 200, not maybe right at this moment. Fine. Government administration, how much do we need? We need 40. Okay, yeah, so if we build one more, yeah, when we leave the Ottoman market, we'll have a massive surplus, but we'll build more government administration later, maybe even more universities, so I think it's worth building that one more, one more paper mill. It would be nice if the private sector built it, if I'm really honest. I mean, it's super, super... Uh, Wheat farms, really. Wheat. Wheat, really. Why don't you build some paper mills? Instead. Okay, this is not good. We need that per capita taxation passed soon. Although, okay, let's go ahead and speed to uh, 1871 so that we are a nice, what, 35 years into the game and we're coming up on the hour. So let's go ahead and get to christmas again as we always do at the end of an episode okay we are losing radicals gaining regaining loyalists oh dear okay population growth has remained migration has slowed down oh it's kind of yeah kind of ranges i guess but we really need that pro capita taxation really need it now like we need it right now because we're going to start incurring interest Petit bourgeoisie are powerful, so we're getting minus 20% interest. So if we look at our assets, we're only paying 12.8% as opposed to 20 when we begin. All right, and that's from banking and central bank and technologies and petite bourgeoisie. But we want to we want to be building a surplus. Ooh. Okay, we've started building this up. This is just gonna snowball into something bad. So could we please? Just get on with it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and pause here, guys. It's uh, coming up in the hour. Thanks all for watching. Hope you're excited. Uh, more episodes obviously coming today. Yeah, honestly, one of my favorite playthroughs so far on this channel. So I hope you're also enjoying it and learning from it. If you want me to go like deep dive on any of the areas that maybe you're thinking like, okay, why, why doesn't he talk more about this or that? Let me know down in the comments and I will dive into it. Uh, but for now, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.